Hey guys, um, welcome to the vlog. I'm just sitting here, I just fed Porter and so now I'm rocking him, wondering if he's gonna go to sleep or not. I don't know, he tends to like to sleep in this little rocker thing and of course I watch him the whole time. Um, Cause it's just easier. I do like it when I hold him and he sleeps on me but I have like so many things to do. Our living room is a mess like always. Grayson has gotten into a little destructive phase lately and just, destroys all his toys and then I have to pick it up and then he um destroys them as soon as he wakes back up but anyway so I'm putting Porter here I'm also watching the Goonies Freeform does like 31 nights of Halloween and so every day they like do Halloween movies and I've actually never watched The Goonies before. I don't know if that is crazy or not. My husband thinks it's crazy because he's seen it. It's like an 80s movie. I guess it's a classic, but I don't know. I've never seen it. Seems kind of spooky. Um, anyway, I have it on in the background just because I'm trying to keep like noise while Porter naps because I just want him to be used to like loud noises. And then of course at night, like we keep it quiet except for like a fan noise to keep him just consistent. Um, but anyway, so I have that on in the background. Porter and I are actually gonna leave in a couple of minutes because we have his one month doctor's appointment today. So we're gonna go and get updated weight and height and head circumference. So I'm so curious to know like how much he weighs. Cause last time we went to the doctor, he was like 712 or 714 and he was born 803. So I'm so curious to know how much he is. I'm thinking he's like 810 maybe. I asked Anthony how much he weighed and he like held him for a second. He said 12 pounds. <laughs> I definitely don't think Porter is 12 pounds, but if he is, that would be pretty impressive because I have him still in like newborn clothes and newborn diapers. I'm almost out of newborn diapers and then we'll switch over to size one because right now I'm like barely getting them on him right now. He's just so big. Like with Grayson, I feel like I had him in size one diapers until like a month and a half or almost two months, but not with Porter. He's a big boy. So anyway, I'll take you guys along, try to film a little bit of the doctor's appointment. And then tomorrow, Porter is one month old. So I'll probably just have like a two day vlog and include that tomorrow in today's vlog. Does that make sense? Um, I'm gonna do a little photo shoot. I gotta do the letter board. I've, of course I need to take pictures. Um, I have pictures of Grayson every month. So I wanna do that with Porter. Um, so I'm super excited. I'm so sad that he's gonna be a month old. I can't believe he's already been like with us basically a month um, It just feels like time is flying by I feel like September went by so fast. I can't believe it's already like middle of October already But it's so sad to, as of tomorrow. I'm not gonna have a newborn anymore. I'll have a one month old and that just makes me sad He's starting to wake up. No, go back to sleep No He'll fall asleep in the car. He always falls asleep when I put him in his car seat and we go anywhere, he he knocks him out. So that's good. He's good in the car, just like Grayson was, but he is just having a hard time falling asleep today. I don't know why, but yeah, we're gonna leave here in a couple minutes. So well, I'll let you know how it goes. doctor. Grayson is making a mess after I just cleaned up all of his puzzles. So glad he did that. That makes me so happy. This is what he does. He just takes them all apart. Wow. So happy. And Porter is sleeping. What else is new? The doctor came in and it actually didn't go like I thought it would. So she started checking him out and she asked me if there was any concerns that I had. And I told her um, that I had noticed that Porter's head was a little lopsided. 
it had always kind of been like that, but I just feel like I was just now starting to really notice it. Grayson is playing music in the background, so sorry about that. So I had always noticed that Porter had kind of a lopsided head, and Anthony was concerned about it and said that I should talk to the doctor about it, so I told him I would. I figured it was just no big deal. Grayson's head was a little lopsided when he was little. It all worked out. Um, so I mentioned it to the doctor, and she checked his head out, and she was like, yeah, actually, it is looking kind of lopsided. And then she started talking about possibly doing an x-ray for him, and she didn't know if he should or not, because he's only a month old, and maybe it'll correct himself. Um, then she, like, started feeling his head, and, like, noticed a ridge was somewhere where it shouldn't have been and she was like you know what we should just do an x-ray just to be sure that everything is okay so i started freaking out because she wanted him to get an x-ray um i've never had to take grace into any kind of medical appointment he's always been perfect so basically she gave me a prescription and told me that i should go to one of the children's close to home locations we have several around columbus and um, I guess I can just go at any time and they're gonna take x-rays of Porter's skull. Um, I guess to see like if the bones in his, or the plates in his skull are forming and if it's just because he was just squished in my stomach and it'll fix itself or he's favoring one side of his head and so the ridge is being misformed i think she was mostly nervous about it because their baby's brains grow so fast when they're this little and she wants to make sure that the brain has enough room to grow so i'm kind of scared it totally took me off guard um i'm planning on taking him in a couple days anthony is taking a day off of work because he had to work last weekend so it kind of works out i'm just gonna go during gray's nap time and hopefully it won't take us too long i've never done this before i've never even gotten x-rays myself so i don't even really know what this experience is gonna be like of course i've never taken an infant to get that done i'm not quite sure how that's gonna work because don't you have to be still for an x-ray? How are they going to get an infant still? I'm not really sure how that's going to work, but my doctor didn't seem too concerned about it because she was acting very, like, so, so, like, I don't know, like, very matter-of-factly, like, not very, like, serious. She's just like, oh, yeah, just go whenever you have an opening. She wasn't like, go tomorrow, go now. So it must not be that concerning, but it is concerning enough to have him go get an x-ray. I'm not quite sure how much this is going to cost. I mean, we do have medical insurance, but I'm sure it's not going to cover the whole thing. So that's going to be great. We're just now starting to get medical bills from the labor and delivery of him. So he's costing us a lot. Thanks a lot, Porter. But yeah, I'll definitely try to um, vlog what I can when I take him in a couple days. I just don't know what to expect. And this just totally caught me off guard. Like, I can't believe I have to take him to get an x-ray. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. But other than that, the appointment went great. Um, Porter is 10 pounds, 11 ounces. He's almost 11 pounds big, which I think is totally crazy because I thought for sure he was only like eight pounds. No, he's almost 11 pounds. And I'm still fitting him into newborn diapers, which are only supposed to go up to like 10 pounds. So I'm like stuffing him into diapers that don't fit him anymore, but... Oops, oh well, I guess I'll switch that over. Um, and he is 22 inches tall, so he gained an inch. Oh, he's just getting so big. So he's like in the 77th and 76th percentile for weight and height. So he is huge for his age, um, but it's good. He's normal. Everything else checked out at the appointment. I went ahead and made the two-month appointment, which will happen next week and or next week, which will happen next month in November. So that will be good and yeah i'm just kind of like in a whirlwind about this whole x-ray thing i just everything's taking me off guard with porter the labor and delivery of porter took me off guard and now i have to go get him x-rayed and just makes me so sad that we have to go do this but hopefully everything will be okay but i'll keep you guys updated I want his energy, you guys. Update on our lawn. I feel like I show you this every day. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he runs pretty fast. 
I can't wait to put him in like sports, five, four, soccer. Three, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> uh oh. Let's keep going. Anyway, our lawn is even more covered. We had rain last night, big rainstorm. And so there's still a lot to go, but oh, every day I look at my lawn and I'm like, oh, it looks so bad. Gray likes it though. We're gonna have to rake him so he can jump in the leaves. We did that last year and he liked it.